Peter, can you tell me what are the main employment relations issues to be aware of when planning a staffing strategy for the Games? I think the first one that employers need to be aware of is uh, making sure they've got some really good leave policies in place. Um, some organisations are actually not going to want their staff to come into work during the Games and might want their staff to stay either at home or, or, or take leave. Others will be inundated with requests um, by employees who want to watch the Games. Either way, it's important that employers have really good policies in place and above all discuss those with the employees well in advance of the Games. So don't just send emails out, but actually talk to people on a team basis, individual basis, about what their plans are. Um, the second um, issue I want to highlight um, um, is the issue of, tra of travelling into work. Um, I know that TfL are doing some excellent work um, making sure that people's journeys aren't unusually delayed, um, but it could be that if those plans don't work, quite, work out quite as expected, people are late at work, that employers need to have arrangements in place for dealing with that and also clear policies about timekeeping and so on. Um, the third thing I want to highlight is uh, the importance of clear volunteer policy. If uh, they've got employees who either want to volunteer at the Games or are volunteering, uh, that the policy is clearly uh, understood and is above all fair, that people actually know what that policy is. Um, then there's the issue of uh, um, the dreaded use of internet. <laughs> um, uh, often people will use uh, either work equipment to watch the Games uh, or they'll be texting and using social media and it's important that employers have good clear policies and about uh, a clear understanding with people what acceptable behaviour is in using that equipment. Again, not just something confined to an intranet site, but it's actually talked through properly. Um, and then finally, um, you know, the, the, the issue of, of, of being fair with people who perhaps aren't interested in the Olympic Games. Not everyone's a sports fanatic, and so if um, undue favours are given to people who are interested in sport and others feel left out, that can cause resentment. So those, those are some of the things that I think employees need to be aware of. Okay. Um, and how do you think some of these issues can be addressed, just as a general approach? Okay, general approach is to uh, uh, visit the ACAST website, um, acast.org.uk, where there's lots of uh, really good information. But the more common, uh, you know, very common sense approach is to talk to your people about it properly. Uh, as I said, don't just send emails around, but to talk at team meetings about the impact of the games on people's work lives and work, balance, uh, work life balance and so on. Uh, that's a good place to start.